I'd like to call to order the July the 15th, 2019 Wilson County Commission meeting. Thank you all for being here and thank you for our guests as well that joined us tonight. This time we'd like to turn the uh, commission meeting over to Commissioner Kevin Costley for our prayer and pledge. <coughs> I'd like to invite uh, Pastor Phil Wilson up from uh, the Bridge Fellowship. Please rise. <coughs> Before I pray, I want you to know that I have an agenda of being here tonight. Kevin Costley asked me to come pray, and I said, if you'll come to my church, I'll come pray. <laughs> so he made a promise that in three weeks he'll be there, right? Made a deal. So if he ain't there... You need to let him go, all right? <laughs> all in favor, say aye. <laughs> let me pray for us. God, I sure thank you for this group of people that uh, are really just giving their life away to other people. And they're making decisions on the behalf of many. Uh, Lord, many who are giving their lives away, Lord, for the next generation. Lord, let us be reminded that there is nothing more important in Wilson County than the next generation. Let us be reminded, God, that you have called this group and the authority figures to make decisions that will affect not just hundreds, but thousands from generations to come. And God, whatever uh, decisions they have to make, uh, Lord, I'm reminded of the most important person in the room when Jesus was around, and that was that he was washing other people's feet. And I pray for this group, Lord, that they would put all of their personal agendas aside and they would make the right decisions for the thousands of people that are going to be impacted by them. So God, give wisdom to this group. Lord, would you protect every family member that's here? I thank you for Kevin calling me and asking me to pray in the honor that I receive when he called. I thank you, Lord, for his leadership a bunch, a bunch of, uh, among a bunch of girls that play softball and the way he is educating those uh, ladies. And Lord, for the many who in some way have their hand in affecting the next generation, would you bless them? And God, we thank you most of all for the sacrifice that your son made for us. And it's in a powerful and the most, most uh, matchless name that we pray at all, the name of Jesus. And everybody says, Amen. 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 You're supposed to pray for a short meeting. Oh, you, you left it for God, up. give us a short <laughs> meeting in Jesus' name. <laughs> now, if you'll join me in the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor, for being here. You will press uh, yes on your panel for presence at tonight's meeting. No, not yet. Let us know. <clears throat> Commissioner, <laughs> 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 please record. Mine's broken. 23 present. Where Two absent. It's not on the screen, sir. We can't see it. Yeah. This keeps going off. It keeps going off. Yeah. We need Mine does the, the same uh, thing. Weeks one. My button's not <laughs> staying on. Ain't none of them on. Oh, there it goes. Mr. McFarland, of course, is uh, uh, under the weather a little bit and will not be with us tonight, so we will pass over the historian moment and get a report from the steering committee. Commissioner Patton. Yes, uh, the steering committee met. Um, the, uh, the minutes are in your packet. I move that they are approved. Second. I got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The adoption of the agenda. Motion to adopt the agenda. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? There is no consent agenda. So thank you for that. Special recognition at this time, I'd ask Commissioner Marlowe to come forward, please. <clears throat> it is my pleasure to be able to uh, read this resolution this evening because if 
if there's ever a, and I very much appreciate the prayer from the pastor this, this evening, but if there's ever a group of folks that needs prayer of protection, it's our students and our teachers at our schools. Resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Wilson County, Tennessee, designating July 28th, 2019 is as a day of prayer for our schools in Wilson County. Whereas a day of prayer for our schools was conceived by members of the Kiwanis Club of Lebanon, Tennessee during the summer of 1999 after the murder of several students and teachers at Columbine High School in Littleton, Colorado. This tragedy was caused, which caused Americans across the nation to become concerned for the safety of their children at school. Sadly, this was not the last example of violence in our American schools. Whereas the first observance of a day of prayer for our schools was sponsored by the Qantas Club of Lebanon on August 14, 1999, this project has been repeated each year since then with the 21st annual observance of a day of prayer for our schools to be held July 28, 2019. This project seeks to <clears throat> unite the entire community in prayer for the safety of our children by encouraging all churches and places of worship to dedicate a portion of their worship service that day to special prayer, seeking God's help in keeping our children safe at school. Whereas the first two objects of the Qantas are to give primary to the human and spiritual rather than the material values of life and to promote the daily living of the golden rule in all human relationships. With no greater blessing from God than the gift of our children, Kiwanis members believe that the safety of our children at school should be a very high priority and they are requesting the entire community to join in the effort. Qantas also believes that the solutions to making the problems existing in our society are spiritual in nature rather than political, and new laws and more metal detectors in our schools will not change the way people treat others. Whereas members of the Qantas Club believe that there is no better thing than prayer to seek a safe school environment for our children, now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of County Commissioners of Wilson County, Tennessee, that <clears throat> in furtherance of the efforts of the members of the Qantas Club of Lebanon, Wilson County, Tennessee, we hereby designate July 28, 2019 as a day of prayer for our schools in Wilson County and urge the entire county to join in this effort. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you, Commissioner Marlowe. We appreciate that, and we'll get this to the right person. Commissioner Patton, if we could ask you to go back first and do something I forgot, and that is to amend the agenda for the audit election. So if you would bring that up, please. The audit election, to add the audit election to that. Any discussion about that? Everybody understand? I just left Audit it committee. Excuse me, audit committee, my bad. And yep. what, I'm sorry, what was the uh, motion to amend it to? Amend it to add it to the election tonight. Okay, to add it? To add the election to the agenda tonight for us to discuss it. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Sorry, I forgot that. And Commissioner Patton, now if you would come forward with the uh, resolution. Sarah does it right now. Sarah will be giving them out. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, as I read this uh, resolution, Sarah's going to be seen, uh, passing out a picture for you uh, to look at. Resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Wilson County, Tennessee, adopting a county flag. Whereas, while working towards our three-star accreditation, leaders from across the county discussed the assets of Wilson County and determined the need for a mission and vision statement along with the flag for identity and unity. From this discussion, several individuals conducted research for the description and the design of the flag. And whereas Wilson County government does not currently have a symbol that is universal throughout all departments, 
representing our government and its citizens, and desires to create a flag to serve such a purpose. And whereas the flag bears the official county seal, the seal is trimmed in gold to represent wisdom and prosperity. Home to Cumberland University, the school founded in 1842, continues to attract students from all over the world. The Wilson County Board of Education and Lebanon Special School Districts are the two main educational entities in the county along with private institutions. Wilson County citizens attribute much of the county's prosperity to the excellence of the educational opportunities available. And whereas the, the seal lies atop a field of blue, as blue is often used to characterize tranquility and calmness, representing the Wilson County's unique location of minutes from Nashville, but nestled between Percy Priest Lake and the Cumberland River. Abundant in parks, waterways, and life, wildlife, Wilson County is known as a haven from the hustle and bustle of the nearby city, offering an array of quality of life events that cater to families of all ages. And whereas the phrase, the place to be in a banner of green overlays the county seal, green is a symbolic of agriculture and public safety. Wilson County ranks number one in the state of Tennessee for having the most active century farms, is home to the nationally recognized Wilson County Fair, and is recognized as the home of William Haskell Neal, inventor of Neal's Paymaster Corn. Wilson County prides itself as being one of the safest places to live in Tennessee. The law enforcement and public safety presence throughout the county is strong. Individuals serving in each city and the county all consistently work together to protect citizens, creating an atmosphere of peace where families feel safe and thrive. Whereas a sponsor has secured 250 flags, keeping the project taxpayer, taxpayer free, five flags will be given to each county commissioner for distribution within their respective districts. All government buildings, including cities, will be given a flag for display. 50 flags will be for sale at the Wilson County Courthouse, who will also keep the flags stocked. And whereas this year, Wilson County Promotions has chosen a grand celebration as the theme for the 2019 Wilson County Fair, where the flag will be unveiled during the festivities of August the 16th through the 24th, and now, whereas, be it resolved that the Wilson County Board of Commissioners of Wilson County, Tennessee, do hereby adapt, adopt a Wilson County flag. This flag will serve as a symbol of Wilson County's strength, unity, and pride for generations to come. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed? Okay. What we'd like to do, if you don't mind, is take up the, the picture because we don't want it to get out to the media, uh, Ms. Bush or anybody else, until it's actually raised the first day of the fair at the Expo Center. So if you would give those back to her, we would appreciate that. Commissioner Patton, thank you for doing this. And thank you guys for adopting uh, the flag. Give back. Give back. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Support from the. What if I done a selfie with a picture a minute ago? Is that bad? Or? Uh -oh. I appreciate you, William. Reports of the minutes committee, Commissioner Bishop. <laughs> Alias, uh -oh. I'm sorry. Uh oh, he got it on film. Oh, he's got it on film. Oh, come on now. There we go. It's our there we go. <laughs> Commissioner Bishop. The minutes committee met July the 2nd here at the courthouse, and we adopted the minutes as written with the exception of two corrections. Those were made. The minutes were in your packet, <coughs> and I make a motion that the, this report be received and filed. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Reading of the minutes? I move we dispense with the reading of the minutes. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Communication from the chair. At this time, I'd like to ask Representative Susan Lynn if she would come forward. Uh, she would like to address you and uh, give you kind of an update of what happened during the last session. We'll let you come up here if that's okay. Yes, ma'am. It's okay. Sorry. 
wants a picture. Sorry. We're doing well. Okay. Thank you, brother. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for asking me to be here tonight. Hello. Especially hello to my county commissioners over there on our side of the county. Um, I'm really happy to be here tonight. And I, I know that uh, Senator Pody and Representative Boyd addressed you last month, and they told you a lot of good things that we did in the General Assembly. So I've put together a sheet for you um, with particular things that we have done. And uh, some of my numbers have to be on um, 18 and 19 numbers, so we'll actually receive more money than what you're seeing on this sheet. But we really did a, a lot of good things this year in the General Assembly. I was very honored to be appointed by the Speaker as the Chairman of Finance the House Finance Committee, the first woman ever in the history of the state of Tennessee to be the chairman of finance in either the House or the Senate. And it was um, a really a wonderful, wonderful session. I, I told my committee from the beginning, we are a team. Every member of the team has to be as strong as we can be, and we're all going to work together, and we're going to work with the Senate, and we're going to come up with, hopefully, a really great budget. And we talked about priorities in the beginning of the section, and uh, we tried to aim towards those priorities. The speaker's priorities were very much in line with the governor's priorities and my priorities, and um, very much they were um, definitely education, uh, criminal justice, mental health. Uh, those were really our priorities, and we put money towards those areas, and I I'm very, very proud of what we did. In the last few years, uh, Tennessee has really been doing great. We are the number one state for fiscal stability from 2015 through 19. Tennessee has received almost 100,000 new jobs. And between January and March, approximately 4,200 net new private sector jobs have been created in the Tennessee economy. That's just this year. Um, since January 1st, the state has secured company commitments of 7,641 new jobs, and they will invest $1.6 billion of new capital in our state. Unemployment remains near historic lows, and currently 95% of 2019 jobs commitments are considered high-quality jobs, and that's why the excellent job our school system does in our county is so important because those high quality jobs need a well-educated workforce. And we are a shining star in the state of Tennessee when it comes to education. More than 2.6 million Tennesseans are employed in the private sector, and according to the Secretary of State, new business filings increased 9.9% 9 .9 in the first quarter. Um, Tennessee actually leads the nation. From 2015 through 19, Tennessee has accumulated over $20 billion in capital through ECD projects. And our budget this year maintains our triple, triple A bond rating from the rating agencies. And what does that mean? That means when Tennessee borrows money, we borrow money at the best possible rate that there is. Um, speaking of our budget, want to know where our money comes from in Tennessee. Well, basically, 48% uh, comes from state taxes. 36% um, comes from federal taxes. And 10% uh, comes from other services. And 4.9% uh, comes from tuition at our state colleges and universities. In Tennessee's budget, um, basically, we spend 12. percent $3 billion on 10 care. We have a $38 billion budget, and $12.3 billion is on 10 care. $11.4 billion we invest in education. Uh, that's K through 12 and higher ed. Social services is $5.1 billion, and transportation is $2.3 billion, and correction is $1.1 billion in Tennessee. But per capita, Tennesseans pay. $2,251 in 
in state taxes per, ta per capita. Uh, federal government, it's $11,000 per capita. Imagine that. We pay $2,200 per capita in the federal government, $11,000. Uh, the debt per capita in Tennessee is $260. That means for every man, woman, and child, there's $260 worth of debt that Tennesseans owe. The federal government is $73,500 per capita. Tennessee is one of the <clears throat> lowest debt states in the nation. We have one of the best pension funded pension plans. We are about the third best, which really says a lot. But this year's budget, what we did, very proud that we, we reduced taxes, we reduced the size of government, we provided for essential services, and we continued our historic levels of education funding. In fact, we overfund the BEP. We overfund our, our commitment and our, uh, to the students of our state. We also provided for our job creation, and we increased the rainy day fund to $1.1 billion, which is the highest it's ever been in the history of the state of Tennessee. Some of the things that I'm particularly proud of um, is one bill that we passed was the Katie Beckett program. $27 million. The Katie Beckett program is in all 49 states. It was actually uh, conceived by Ronald Reagan. And what it is is um, there are children with severe, severe disabilities. And their parents work. They make a fine living. But they do not, they make too much to qualify for Medicaid or TennCare, as we have in Tennessee. And so these children are in their parents' health insurance, but there's a lot of needs that they have because they are so sick and they cannot get TennCare. So they cannot get a lot of services that they need. Well, if all 49 states have a program called the Katie Beckett Program, except Tennessee. So we funded that program this year. And we're asking the federal government if we can join that program. It'll provide $27 million so these children who are severely handicapped can receive the services they need. And these are children who, upon turning 18 and uh, no longer um, minors, they would qualify for 10 care anyway because they will never work. They will never work. They're so severely handicapped. And so these children will go on 10 care someday. And so 10 care will provide for their needs as long as well as their parents' health insurance so that they can be taken care of. And that is really one of the things I'm most proud of absolutely this year. Um, we also created a deaf mentor program. There are children in our state who are born deaf. And unfortunately, um, you know, that's, that's a great tragedy, but their parents don't know sign language. They have no idea. And so as these children grow, they will receive services and learn sign language, but their parents don't know sign <clears> language. So right from when they're born, they will be able to participate in the Deaf Mentor Program and learn sign language and start that early learning that these children need so that they can succeed when they get to school. And they, they won't have that gap of where they're trying to learn, but they can't. Really, very, very proud of that. We also cut taxes on our budget by $32 million, and uh, we reserve $15 million for tax cuts next year. We cut the professional privilege tax, something the legislature has been trying to do since uh, the professional privilege tax was first uh, increased way back when, during that income tax fight. Um, but we cut it for 15 professions, and we took it away entirely for these 15 pr professions. The only people we left in were lobbyists, Attorneys, sorry about that. <laughs> Lobbyists, attorneys, um, stockbrokers, stockbroker agents, and, and we didn't figure people would get too set, upset about that. Well, most people <laughs> won't get too upset about that. Um, we did a, a grade and program or increase for dual enrollment, so our students will be able to get an extra class with their dual enrollment. Uh, we we uh, increased the pay of correctional officers and counselors. Correction officers. 66% of them leave in their first year of employment, 66%. So we increase the pay. We're hoping to retain them better. Uh, 
Commissioner Ash, he would know if, if that is uh, starting to work, and, and we hope that it will work, and we certainly have a commitment uh, to help more next year. Uh, we also did something that I, I'm very thrilled about is we took away the expungement fee at the state level. So people who have um, a felony, or actually I think it's uh, two felonies that are on a certain list, they can apply to have their felony expunged and get a job. My daughter happens to work for Ronstad, and you have no idea how many employers, someone could have had a felony when they were you know, 19 years old and stupid, and here they are now, you know, 38 and they really uh, are good workers and they want a job and they want to work a job, but guess what? They've, they've still got that felony on their record because they haven't been able to afford to have it expunged. The state took away the ex expungement fee and we're, we're encouraging our counties, would you please do the same if, if our courts would do that? We're encouraging you to please do the same. There is a local fee and uh, we, we'd like to see that done so that people who are who've lived, they've learned their lesson, they've served their time, they're living a good life, we want them to be able to get jobs and hold jobs. Think about how low our unemployment is, our unemployment rate. We need workers, we need people to come in and work, and people who have committed to uh, uh, living a good life now and, and not getting in trouble anymore, let's not hold things against them forever. Let's get them expunged. Um, we also, um, uh, this isn't something I'm, I'm thrilled about, but we passed the um, fantasy sports bill. So Wilson County, you can expect to receive $1.1 million more um, from the fantasy sports tax. I did not vote for that bill, but it did pass, and you all will get that uh, money. We created an advisory task force on hemp production. As you've seen all over our county, uh, there are CBD places opening up everywhere. So we thought we needed an advisory task force to make sure that uh, you know this all stays in line. So I, let's look at your uh, Wilson County spending here. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you this. I'm really thrilled about this. As um, all of the legislators get to put in budget amendments, and certainly as chairman of finance, I was very favorable to my own budget amendments. So we're getting $50,000 for the birthing barn and uh, over at the fairgrounds. So I'm, I'm really thrilled about that. $20,000 um, I asked for for the Wilson Central Soccer Boosters and my Senate colleagues uh, agreed with that. They, they were in desperate need of some new bleachers and soccer equipment. $100,000 to resp restore the Sadie Ford Heritage Farm at Cedars of Lebanon and uh, that'll be a very nice addition, especially with the more land that we're getting there, and $40,000 to help the Mount Juliet Little, Little League because they had all of that flooding, their electrical was really ravaged, and uh, they will be getting that money. We also have uh, four TDOT projects that were added to the Comprehensive Multimodal Program, and two were entered for the first year, so I'm really uh, very excited about that. And if you look at what we should be getting in our BEP, $84 million for uh, Wilson County Schools, $15 million for uh, capital projects, so we all know how we have to build more schools, you'll be getting $15 million in this budget for helping to build our schools, um, $800,000 in BEP funds intended for teacher raises. And um, I wanna remind you, the BEP, is um, a funding plan, it is not a spending formula. So the only money that is locked up and you have to spend it the way it is intended is teacher salaries, teacher salaries. That has to be spent on teacher salaries. Everything else in the BEP, we have a formula, we're giving you money. You do have the discretion on how to spend that money, but our formula does dictate the $15 million for the capital projects and um, $350,000 you'll be able to apply for for grants for school safety. And then you can also see here uh, Lebanon Special Schools and what they are getting. Your state shared tax revenue, you can expect about $9.9 .9 .9 million and $3.5 million in the gas and motor fuel tax and $2.7 million for the business tax. And in transportation, we have a lot of projects going on. I'm very, very grateful and proud of all the projects that we have going on. I know we need so many more. I know you know. 
I want I want you to know uh, people people call me and and they they talk to me about you I'm sure they talk to you about me too and I, I you all do such a wonderful job and and thank you for explaining these uh, roads to them and these programs to them and and how they work because uh, generally after they've talked to you they they really get it but by the time they call me and they've got some specific questions um, fast track grants boy we are just really cruising right along 21.7 million dollars which represents 2.1 billion dollars in uh, private capital investment so we really really have a lot going on and um, I'm just so proud of our county I'm so proud to represent you and and thank you uh, for for your service thank you for everything that you do and when I am downtown I'm telling you people just think Wilson County absolutely rocks and they'll even ask me you know how do y'all how do y'all do it how do y'all have so much going on and I give all the credit to you and this wonderful man right here and he comes down a lot you come down a lot and uh, he serves on a lot of different uh, boards and commission with uh, with great uh, great responsibilities and he does an absolutely wonderful job um, I don't know if you have any questions any questions for me we really did so much this year and uh, I I will email you all with lots more information I I will make sure I get that done uh, since session was over my husband and I did a little traveling people said I haven't seen you anywhere well I'll tell you think about it I run every two years and the one year we're in session then it's election the whole year <laughs> and then the off year I have about this much time when we can go visit family so we took that little bit of time we went and visited some family and uh, I'm back now and I'll be at the Wilson County Fair and enjoying that because I love that so much and so does my family so but anyway anybody have any questions Mr. Have, Glover you didn't put your button? I did no I'll you bet. did okay. I have one question you sure. were talking about the expungements yes any kind of way you can email me more information on that because that would really help a lot of people in my district yes. and I yes. would love to see what the cost would be or see whatever it is that we can do in, in order to try to encourage that to happen yes so there's so many young people in my district that need jobs but they can't because of past mm -hmm. lives I'll say Mm -hmm. uh, and I would greatly appreciate if you can get that information to me. I sure will. In fact, the governor has created an excellent website, and all of the felonies are listed that can be expunged. And, of course, there has to be a certain time period that's passed, and you've lived a good life and all of that. <clears throat> um, but there is no fee. There is no fee. Now, there is a local fee, and that's what we're encouraging our locals. If you would, you know, come on board and, and let's get people being able to support their families and working after they've paid their debt to society. I appreciate yeah. that. Any other questions? Commissioner Patton? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Walker. <laughs> Just follow up on that. Do you know about how long that process is for expungement? We had a family I, member that yeah. had an issue. <coughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. Got with the mm -hmm. It's a lengthy process, but do you have any idea about I do not have any idea about how long. I, I've actually never had a constituent that I've sort of helped mm -hmm. get through that. Um, but there's no time like tomorrow to get started because they can get started tomorrow. So. Any other questions? Seeing none, Representative Lynn, thank you for being with us tonight. We appreciate oh, you coming. Thank you, yeah. Mayor. <laughs> thank you, everybody. This time, I introduced uh, Mr. Randall Clemens to come and speak to you about the Wilson County Fair. Good. How are you? We appreciate you allowing us each year to come and give you a preview of the Wilson County Fair. Uh, this is a partnership that was formed with the Wilson County Commission back in 1979 and we're going to be celebrating the 40th year of the Wilson County Fair. It's been a great partnership. Uh, our corporation, our profits go back into the James E. Ward Ag Center and as a result of that we've been able to join with the county in making many of the improvements that have been made there at the James E. Ward Ag Center. Our fair has grown from nothing in 1979 to the 30th in the United States this year. 
We're in the top 20 events in the southeast. Uh, last year, we had some 500, over 500,000 people that visited our fair. Just as important, there was 8,273 people that were exhibitors at our fair with some 17,000 entries. The Wilson County Fair is a showcase of the talents of Wilson County. I know you're as proud of it as we are, uh, and we've become known in trying to bring a good name to Wilson County as a result of that. That is made possible with some 1,289 volunteers who last year gave 84,000 hours of their time to make the fair possible. If you take that, that equated to over a million dollars worth of labor that was given to our fair that makes it possible. It has become a large event and a, and a very costly event as our budget this year is $2.4 million to put on this year's fair. It is a grand celebration and you have a packet tonight if you would allow me just a minute to go through that packet with you of some things that you need to know that we would like to have your involvement in. The first in your packet is a white letter there inviting you to our Farmers Appreciation Breakfast on Thursday morning, August the 22nd at 8 a.m. The Commissioner of Agriculture, Charles Hatcher, will be with us. Also, Mark Ezell, the Commissioner of Tourism, will be with us, and Mr. Ben Powell of Wilson County will be our featured speaker. That night will be an appreciation dinner for you at 6 o'clock at the Fiddler's Grove Picnic Pavilion and enclosed are two tickets for you to come that night and be a part of that. And we do ask that you make reservations for both of those with that information at the bottom. Next in your packet is a red sheet here that we'll just touch on two or three items that we've already had questions about tonight. It is very important to the Board of Directors of Wilson County Promotions to be sure that we have some times that we can help people that it is too costly for them to go to the fair. And so we are doing something new this year. It's going to be called Wilson County Night. It's the first night of the fair on August the 16th. There are no ball games in our county that night. And so we're going to have a $5 gate admission. And all rides will be $1. So I encourage you to help us spread the word with that. In this week's newspapers in Wilson County will be our fair catalog that will explain to everybody in our county all of the great things that we have as well as the things that they can enter in the fair as well. Last year we introduced the mega ticket, which is a $25 ticket that gets you gate admission and ought to ride all of the rides, and that's good on any night of the fair. And those will be on sale beginning the end of the week, as well as our season tickets as well. On the back of that page is a schedule of events for the entire nine days, as well as our dates that we'll be taking entries for the Wilson County Fair. The fair is a celebration, and you have a white sheet that has blue at the top, and we're going to be celebrating a lot of things that has to do with Wilson County. And we will be beginning that on August the 16th with our opening event. Uh, and as we talked about at 5 o'clock, we'll have a ribbon cutting and it'll be the first flag raising and unveiling of the Wilson County flag. flag. If you'll look down through that, there's a lot of events that we will be doing. Uh, the uh, 40 years of the fair, 165 years of Mount Juliet High School, 200 years of the city of Lebanon, 220 years of Wilson County, 50 years of the Cracker Barrel, and on and on the list goes. And so there'll be some type of celebration each night of each one of those events, as well as, at the bottom of the page, some dedication of many new things that we have at the James E. Ward Ag Center this year. We have an expanded kitty land uh, that will be dedicated on the first Friday. The Pop Smart and the Turner Evans building have been totally remodeled. Uh, they will be the homes of our Ag Venture Barn and our poultry uh, and rabbit exhibits. Uh, we have the Heritage Barn exhibits that will be dedicated, as well as the Lebanon Woolen Mill and, and the Ag Commodity Quilt Trail. On the blue page that is attached here, it is the year of the wool. Uh, Lebanon and Wilson County has been known for sheep and wool for years and years, and we were the number one producer of sheep and known for our wool. Well, there used to be a parade and a full festival here on the square, and so we're going to try to recreate a lot of that this year, and so you'll see that each night, and we're going to have some unique events called mutt busting, where uh, children can ride uh, sheep in races. 
Uh, each night there'll be sheep shearing, there'll be sheepdog trials, there'll be wool demonstrations, and a lot of different displays. We also are excited this year for the first time to have Eudora Farms Petting Zoo. It is a nationally known uh, petting zoo company, and they're going to bring a whole new life to that aspect of the fair as well. Our fallen soldier exhibit will be located in the Veterans Building uh, all nine days of the fair. You have a list there of new rides and also kitty land. On the back of that is our, all of our different entertainment. We have eight stages of entertainment uh, each night. We have two great concerts that you have information there on. And one of the things that we're doing for the first time this year is we're going to have Charlotte Webb play actually performed in the Expo Center on the first Saturday and on Sunday. Uh, we're going to do a lot to try to get that out to the school children in Wilson County so they are aware of that and that is something that there is no additional charge uh, for as well. Have a lot of information there that you can take with you and we hope that you will help us to promote this uh, as we do that. In closing, we would not have a fair if it was not for the Wilson County government. We thank you as commissioners. We thank you, Mayor Hutto, for all that you do. We thank Quentin Smith and the staff of the James E. Ward Ag Center. We thank Sheriff Bryan and his staff and the prisoners that he brings to the uh, fairgrounds in the James E. Ward Ag Center, Joey Cooper and Wema, Steve Murphy and the Road Commission, Cindy Lynch and the Wilson County Solid Waste, Donna Wright and the Wilson County Schools. And we're proud to say tonight that we have 100% participation of every school in Wilson County. Every school will have an exhibit in the new Expo Center and there'll be a lot to feature that and we are going to be doing some major marketing that we are the state's largest school room as we teach children about livestock and all aspects of life. It takes an entire community to make a fair happen and we are very thankful for the Wilson County community and for you as government in making this possible. Thank you for allowing us to come. Thank you, Mr. Clemens. We appreciate it. This time, uh, are there any notaries to be added to our list, Ms. Dowdy? So I hear a motion to approve the notary list. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This time you would elect the road commissioner for zone three. Uh, it's on your agenda, the people that are, are available for that position. Hmm. Commissioner Terry Scruggs, District 7. Commissioner Sarah Patton, District 9. Commissioner Terry Ash, District 12. Commissioner Annette Stafford, District 20, Commissioner Mark, Mike Kurtz, uh, District 21, and Commissioner Joy Bishop, District 24. The floor is now open for nominations for Zone 3. Gentry. Commissioner who? Who? Gentry. Mr. Gentry, and if you will, the, my, my working up here is not working right, so if you want to say something, please just raise your hand. Commissioner Gentry. I nominate Terry Scruggs for this position. Got Commissioner Scruggs as a nomination. I hear a second. I don't have to have, but I appreciate that anyway. Anybody else wishing to be nominated for Zone 3? Motion nomination, please. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. This time uh, with only one nomination, then I assume I'll let you vote for uh, Commissioner Scruggs. All in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed? Mr. Scruggs, congratulations and thank you for serving on our Road Zone 3 board. You are to elect one member to serve a five-year term on the Board of Zoning Appeals, and I'd like to recommend for your consideration, although it is your election, for Mr. Paul Abercrombie. Information about him was in your packet, and I'll listen for nominations. I'll make a motion to recommend him. Okay. Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? Commissioner Walker? Who would he be he's just, just, his term is up and he's up for reappointment. Okay. Yes, sir. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed? Okay. Audit committee, you're to confirm my appointment for five members to serve on the one year audit term of committee. Uh, I would like to appoint to you Commissioners Kenny Rich, Commissioners Chad Bernard, Commissioners Robert Field along with Mr. Banker, uh, Mr. John Lancaster, and CPA, Mr. Jerry Taylor, not Mr. Banker. Do I have a motion for those, or? I'll move. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. 
proposed. Thank you. Report of the Emergency Management Committee, uh, Commissioner Glover. No report. The Emergency Management Director's Report, Director Cooper. We do have a young man that is running around with a green shirt on taking pictures. He's there by way of Mr. Maynard, which is taking pictures for the finance director's book. And somebody educate Ms. Weathers on that. Thank you. <laughs> Commissioner Director Cooper. All right. Thank you, Mayor, County Commission. Our, our call volume uh, for June is running about normal for this time of year. So uh, nothing uh, to state there. Uh, as you know, Gladeville Middle School did open. Uh, we're doing walkthroughs uh, in that school this week. Uh, so we'll be working with them um, there with that. Uh, we were also called in to assist uh, Lebanon Fire Department with a big uh, commercial building fire. Um, you know, we did work seamlessly along with them. Um, and due to that, they made a miraculous save uh, on that building. So I want to thank Lebanon Fire uh, for that. And outside of that, that concludes my report. Motion to Got a motion and a second. Now, any discussion? <laughs> any questions for Director Cooper? Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed? <clears throat> Director Cooper, just a quick question. Is that building that burnt, was that the O'Reilly's that's coming in? Yes. It wasn't? Okay. All right. so that's when we had a pilot problem. Okay. Nobody's in there now. Right? No. Report, from law and, report from Law Enforcement Committee. Uh, Commissioner Rich. No report. Sheriff's Report. Sheriff Bryan. What happens when you approve a pilot and something like that happens? They left. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor, County Commissioners, and <coughs> Mr. Dow. I appreciate you. Um, your report's in your packet. Uh, the numbers of call for service, everything pretty much on par for this time of year. Uh, as I said, you know, the jail, civil warrants received, calls for service continue to be. You know they're 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 pretty high for the, given that number. I would like you to look at the number of people that accessed the court facilities this past month. Uh, if you add them both together, College Street and the uh, CJC, there's uh, 18, almost 19,000 people walk through them doors up there, and that's a lot of people util utilizing your court system. Uh, another thing of emphasis, uh, your yearly SR school resource officer report breaks down everything uh, each school and each uh, SRO encountered this past year. So I'll let you look at them numbers, but uh, it, it reflects how busy they are and everything they're doing in the school system. Uh, Representative Lynn has left, I believe, but I would publicly like to say thank you to her. Uh, she uh, spearheaded a lot of uh, legislation that went through that affects law enforcement and uh, was a big help to this county as it relates to some of the things we're dealing with. And she fought off some bunch of things that they was trying to push down on us. So it's if, if anybody sees her, I, I would I would I would ask that you thank her. That concludes my report unless there's any questions. Motion received. Second. Any other discussion by a raise of hand? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, thank you, Sheriff Bryan and Sheriff, thank you for assisting uh, Commissioner Venata in her help and effort to move the Cracker Barrel. And we know you worked last night with your folks and uh, again tonight. So thank you for that. Thank you. Report from the Education Committee, Commissioner Stafford. Report. Director of Schools Report, Dr. Donna Wright. Good evening. I believe Ms. Dowdy. Uh, passed out a brief report um, just want to open it with that we had a very eventful and exciting day yesterday we opened Gladeville Middle School and it was one that you know you, you hope that when you have a party that you'll at least get some attendance and we had a full house probably in excess of 2000 uh, did show up and it was not only one to uh, more or less um, as we did yesterday, thank this funding body for the support. But we also had the opportunity to really even show the community as far as the, not only the significance, uh, but to have a state-of-the-art, um, high-tech building for middle school students. And as I shared with uh, a young couple yesterday, 
uh, many times middle school education is the forgotten um, center as far as that they usually get the leftovers from the high school. And, and in most places, I don't care where you go in the country, a lot of middle schools are housed and where the high school moves out, the middle school inherits it. So that was something of significance, if anything, to that middle school kids are just as important. And so I thank you not only for your attendance, but your support as well. Um, you have a, a listing of dates uh, as far as things that we're going to be having with school orientations, open houses, and parent-teacher conferences. Uh, school starts August the 1st, it's fast approaching. You have an update. We ended the year with 18,599 kids, and as of last Friday, minus two schools that we do not have uh, numbers in yet uh, as, as they uh, upload, 19,028 uh, is what we are anticipating and a little maybe in excess of that. Um, you also have a note that we will be having a school board retreat uh, this weekend following a summer law institute. And just for your reading pleasure, you have um, the new brochure for this next school year um, attached as far as just gives a breakdown. And for those of you, I know that several of you uh, speak to different groups and things, but there's a lot of information. It's a, it's a lagging year, but it gives you a, not only accomplishments, but also a breakdown of numbers and things, everything from the academic programs, athletics, uh, fine arts, and then just some quick facts too that just uh, uh, on one page there that some people like to know these things. We travel over 2,679,000 miles um, in our buses each year. More than $50 million in academic and athletic schol college scholarships are awarded annually. We have well over a 95% uh, graduation rate. Uh, state average is right at 88%. We serve 1.7 million meals to children every day, or in a year, an annual year. And uh, we have one student resource officer in every school. We put that in there because that's significant. And you know, I've recognized that in front of uh, this uh, body several times that we are so fortunate that this is something that, um, with the support of the Sheriff's Department and again, uh, with this body that we have that. And then the other thing that's also significant, we are only funded in this state one nurse per every 3,000 students. And we are so fortunate that we have a nurse in every school. And when you look at some of the critical needs of our kids, and particularly diabetes alone, uh, there's been a 400% increase in juvenile diabetes, uh, not only locally, uh, as far as statewide, but also across the nation. And that's something that many districts are having to deal with. And when you see particularly the little ones that cannot manage or control their diabetes, and we're so fortunate. And barring no questions, that concludes my report tonight. Report be received and filed. Second. Second. Discussion now by raise of hand. Anybody? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you, Dr. Wright. Register of Deeds report, Ms. Jackie Murphy. It is on your desk. If you have any questions, uh, she is here to answer those. Do I hear a motion to approve the report? Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed? The trustees report is the same way. It's on your desk. I have a motion to approve those. Second. Any discussion on that? See you none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Oh. Road superintendent report. Mr. Steve Murphy. This chair is going all the way down the floor. Thank you, Thank you Ms. Murphy, for being here, by the way. Mayor and commissioners, uh, to this date, we have paid right at 22.911 miles. Uh, we've had several several storm damages last last couple of weeks we've got several crews out cleaning up trees so if you have any in your area that we hadn't gotten yet just give us a call there at the office and we'll try to get by and get them picked up uh, and our guys just out doing regular maintenance keep them mowing and trying to keep the bushes back and that concludes my report motion to approve second, second. any discussion copy of that that uh, list of roads <laughs> do what now can I get a copy of the list? I don't know. I don't Did you know lose it? Yeah, <laughs> road list. There you go. You want a road list. <laughs> yeah, road. Any other questions? <laughs> Seeing that all in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you, Mr. Murphy. <laughs> Ag Center report. <laughs> He's got the wrong one. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Ag Center report. Mr. Quentin Smith is on the road in Lexington tonight. Uh, in Louisville, excuse me, uh, recruiting a, a, 
a group to come, so we'll not be here. He will report out next month to you, and he did not leave a packet uh, on your desk. Expo report, I don't believe, is on there either. Uh, I do have an expo report. Uh, Ms. Toombs uh, had a death in her family uh, and is out of town for that, so I will take a motion to approve that report. Second. Any discussion on that? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Uh, and a report from the, the Public Works uh, Committee. Commissioner Weathers? I tried to have a meeting, but that hadn't happened, so no report. Thank you, ma'am. Ag Center Management. Commissioner Scruggs? Met June 25th, 2019. Minutes are in your packet. Stephen Powell. Second. Got a motion and a second. Discussion? See you not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Animal Control, Commissioner Marlowe. Animal Control met Tuesday, July 2nd, 6 o'clock in the upstairs conference room. Uh, minutes are in your packet. Move they be received and filed. Second. Any discussion? See you not all in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed? Audit, Commissioner Bernard. No report. Uh, back tax uh, and cable TV, Commissioner Walker. No Development Tourism, Commissioner Venata. No Ethics, Commissioner Ash. No Finance, Commissioner Gentry. No health and wealth, health and recreation, Commissioner Patton. No Insurance, Commissioner Ash. No Judicial, Commissioner Glover. No Planning and Zoning, Commissioner Rich. Uh, Planning and Zoning Committee met on the 27th day of uh, June. Uh, here at the courthouse, manage on your packet. Make a motion that be received and filed. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Rules, Commissioner Gentry. Yes. Urban Type Facility Board, Commissioner Scruggs. Urban Type Facility Board met July the 12th, 9 o'clock. It's in your packet. Receive and file. Second. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. And opposed? Finance Director's Report, Mr. Aaron Maynard. Just have a few things for you tonight. On your desk, there's a report on debt obligation. This was for the uh, refunding bonds that we did. We had projected savings of a little over three million. Uh, actual savings were four million one hundred forty-four thousand seven hundred dollars and eighty-seven cents. Those were the Build America bonds that were issued to build Lebanon High School. So you're going to save about three hundred and thirty thousand dollars over about a twelve or thirteen-year period uh, for a total of a little over four million. Uh, report on debt obligation. Your your true interest cost is one point nine one six three, which is amazing. Uh, the face amount of the bonds was $39,920,000, but you received a premium of $7,848,751.35. So when you're receiving premiums like that, I think that tells you how attractive our credit rating, et cetera, is and that kind of interest cost. Um, the fees associated, and by the way, the savings that I've quoted, that is after the fees have already been deducted. Uh, Stevens Inc. is financial advisor, fifty-four thousand. Uh, Bassberry and Sims is bond counsel, fifty thousand. Uh, attorney, uh, thirty-five hundred. Uh, U.S. Bank for paying agent, a thousand fifty. Uh, rating agency fees, Standard and Poor's, twenty-eight thousand. Uh, printing and advertising fees of fifteen hundred, and verification agent of twenty six eighty five. Total fees of one hundred and forty thousand seven hundred and thirty five dollars. Um, we are required to read those into the record and file them with the state of Tennessee. So that is that is now the the housekeeping business that's been done. Uh, I want to thank everybody. This is probably the. Um, the most attended budget sessions that I have ever uh, been a part of uh, to the point uh, that I'm going to be doing a budget workshop in a little over a week and so many of you have been there that uh, I kind of feel like I'll just be sharing information with you you already know but I'll do my best to uh, to give you something that will will be of use and uh, just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you and uh, I am going on vacation for a week right here at the worst time possible. Uh, so if you're looking for me for the next week or so, you'll have to send a search party to Cabo. Um, uh, but uh, at any rate, uh, thank you very much for all your help and support and any questions.
<laughs> well, you do take Diane with you. I was going to say. Oh, you know. I think uh, all in favor say aye. I think I think there might be some people who would give me an all expense paid trip to the Dominican Republic. I do have a question. Though. Yes, sir. When the interest rate is five percent, but our interest yeah. costs. Is one point nine one six three? Yeah. That because of the premium. It's the premium. Okay. It's the premium. Just want to make sure. Yes, sir. Any other questions before we approve the report? I hear a motion to approve the report. Motion. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Report from the budget committee. Commissioner Glover. Budget committee met Monday, July first, at five p.m. upstairs conference room. We also met again on Tuesday, July second, at five p.m. Uh, Move those be received and filed. Second. Any discussion? Being and all in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Old business to come before this body. Anybody? New business? Okay, one more move. Motion, Motion to adjourn. All in favor, say aye. Aye. 